Hey everyone, my name is Valor Ridge, and the purpose of this video today is to talk about the apolitical, completely objective CDC. Let's go ahead and get started. <music> Folks, if you're a person like me out there, you know, the, the federal government can do no wrong. Everything that they say is correct, and the news is 100% accurate, and the economy's great. That's a transitory thing. But over a year later... I think I was wrong then about um, the path that inflation um, would take. And there's like not an increase in crime and... We have new video tonight of a man clobbering a man over the head with a baseball bat in Manhattan. Police say it was a random attack on Tuesday. Uh, people aren't just suddenly dying and none of that stuff's happening. So we, what you really gotta be thankful for during this, this, this season of the year is We've got to make sure that we understand that that when the CDC reports something, that it's 100% factual, objective, without political bias. We have to make sure that that's the case. People should not be walking around with masks. You're sure of it? Because people are listening really no, closely to this. Right now, people should not be walking. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. Wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better, and it might even block a, a droplet but it's not providing the perfect protection that people think that it is. Well, you've heard it over and over again. Wear a mask, wash your hands, practice social distancing. But now health leaders are recommending you do something else. Don't just wear one mask, but now two. To prevent uh, uh, droplets and virus to get in. So if you have a physical covering with one layer, you put another layer on, it just makes common sense that it likely would be more effective. Now, before you think I've lost my mind, that, that's called sarcasm. Uh, that's one of those things where we point out uh, the absurd through humor, and sometimes all you can do is laugh. And I want to inform you about a couple of things that's happened at the CDC lately. This isn't a uh, video about any disease. Uh, I guess maybe the only disease this is about is leftism. Uh, that would That's certainly a disease. But what this is really about is just to show you how completely political the CDC has become. I came across an article the other day that talked about how the CDC had scrubbed all defensive gun uses from their website. They completely did away with legit defensive gun uses. I'll explain here in detail. Uh, the Reload is a website, I've got a link in the description box below, did an article about some emails that they got from a, an individual by the name of Mark Bryant, and he's the executive director of the Gun Violence Archives. Now, turns out that the Gun Violence Archives, complete gun control organization, didn't like some of the data on the CDC's website about defensive gun uses. So if you're aware of their website, you can go on there and look at data for a lot of different things. And one of the stats that the CDC has had on there for a while is the defensive gun use in the United States. And what was used was Gary Kleck's research. He's a criminologist from Florida State University and this data has been used for a long time. It's completely reliable. It's one of the higher end stats of defensive gun uses. Um, he estimated and, and did qualitative and quantitative studies over uh, that it's over 2 million times a year that people in the United States defensively use firearms against criminals. Certainly one of the higher end figures that I've seen. But typically what you'll see is, is at least over a million, over a million and a half defensive gun uses. Well, it turns out Mark Bryant from the uh, <laughs> Gun Violence Archives, he didn't like that stat. And so he sent some emails and nobody at the CDC answered him. So that, that didn't work. So what he needed was a facilitator. And what he ended up getting was assistance from United States Senator Dick Durbin from Illinois, probably one of the most useless individuals on the planet. But in this case, he was really useful. And also the White House helped facilitate his emails to get to the right people at the CDC to make sure that they that they were understanding his position. And he, this is one of his most beautiful quotes, Mr. Bryan, are you ready for this one? In his email, he complained uh, the CDC's publication of defensive gun use restricted in quote, gun violence prevention policy grinding to a halt. So it turns out that these stats were inconvenient to him because it resulted in him not being able to push forth more gun control. So because it, it resulted in, in any, any further gun control grinding to a halt, we got to get rid of it. Well, through the help of Senator Durbin and through the, House of the, White, the help of the White House, they got their little whiny way 
And the CDC took down the two and a half million cases of defensive gun use in on their website statistics. So it turns out that they just got away with the stat. Uh, what they did use, though, was the Gun Violence Archive stats. And don't worry, their stats now reflect uh, certainly the, the incidents where a defensive gun use makes the news and, and also the police that volunteer that information. So so no unreported gun usage, uh, no no anecdotal evidence, none of the stuff that, that actually happened. All they have is the ones that make the news reports, which very conveniently is, is about 60,000 times a year instead of several million. So now we can talk about getting some gun control because, because now that's a realistic number instead of what an actual criminologist with a PhD actually reported. When you look at the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, I, I didn't know that, that firearms were a disease. I didn't know that uh, one-tenth of the Bill of Rights was a disease, but according to the CDC, it is. Oh, and by the way, I guess if you've watched this far and realized that if the CDC is willing to take down data on the topic of gun control, I'm sure that, that they wouldn't have had any problem, you know, omitting or adding any other data about a very important topic the last couple of years that would inconveniently go against the political narrative. So they're an objective scientific organization, and I'm, I'm very grateful for people like Rachel Walensky out there, a nice public servant, and I'm very grateful for, for true scientists that work for a gun control organization like Mark Bryant uh, out there that uh, want to make sure that nothing gets in the way of gun control, not even facts. If you found the information in the video helpful, follow me on social media and subscribe as well. Share is even better. And if you want to learn how to, you know, learn how to defend yourself that hardly ever happens in the United States, come on out to Valor Ridge and we can assist you. This is Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge reminding you the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others, except for when they're not recorded on the CDC. We'll see you on the Ridge.